Hello, this is Marshal Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube. After a little bit of research here in uh, two of my Luger books, both uh, both by the author Aaron Davis, the Standard Catalog of Luger and the Luger Handbook, um, I think I was able to discern most of the markings on them. There are still some unknown Luger marks, I guess that's... Uh, really typical of any military surplus pistol or rifle, um, especially the Mosin and the God series. They, uh, there are so many marks that are just unknown. But uh, I'll try to get in some close-up pics and uh, video of some of the marks and try to coincide them with the book as well. And I believe the large book will also work for the P-38 pistol. The uh, BYF marks are in this large book, so... It should work out. We're about to find out. All right, the first one we're going to look at here is my uh, DWM Luger. And the way you can tell where a Luger is manufactured is on the top of the toggle. It's where the uh, manufacturer's stamp is going to be, or should be. Most of the time, they'll have dates stamped on the receiver like this. In this case, this is a double date, a double stamp, 1918-1920. They began stamping them in 1920. Uh, the Treaty of Versailles basically required it as uh, the German military was only allowed so many weapons. So if anybody was caught with, uh, without a double, stamp, a double stamp Luger, they were pretty much in big trouble. And here's the Erfurt, the one that uh, was featured in the video before, that also has the uh, date stamp on the receiver. This is not a double stamp pistol. The uh, the marks that are here on the receiver, see how close we can get into them. The stamps on the pistol most closely resemble these here, right above my finger. which it appears to be a German military proof. Um, I can't find any police markings at all. The markings by my finger right here, these markings, is what look like it would be uh, police proof markings. And I don't see any of them on this double dated Luger. So it appears, just by the evidence in the book, that this was a uh, military pistol all the way. There's a couple ways you can tell if a Luger is matching. Um, typically, you'll find the correct serial number right underneath the barrel on the front of the frame like that, where the complete serial number will be, whether it's three or four characters long. They also used uh, letter suffixes or prefixes as well, just kind of overlapped in the uh, production line. Typically, you'll find stamped on all the parts. It's kind of hard to see it there on the uh, straw-colored piece. But uh, on the side plate and on the receiver there, all the parts will be stamped the last two digits of the serial number. You can see it there on the extractor. It's a little bit tough, but it's there. Um, this one has all the numbers matching, unlike this one here. Uh, Non-matching magazine, of course, but those are hard to come by. It appears this one is an original finish um, with wear. It's hard to see with the light, but there's holster wear here and on the high points here and on the corner. And uh, it looks like this has been sitting and had been sitting in a holster for some time um, before I ever had it, as the grips are just a little bit worn down. It's also pretty tough to see, but the mark right here appears to be, if I'm our acceptance mark, it looks like this one right here in the middle, and there's a toggle manufacturer, DWM, and it's got, I believe it's got the AR, A4, stamped below it. It's very hard to see without a magnifying glass. I don't think the camera will even 
get on it at all. So it looks like it's it was a military pistol. I don't know how you can tell if it was used during World War II, but it's possible it could have seen some action during the First World War. Or it would just be easier if it would just tell me, but, you know, as much as we'd like our old pistols and rifles to talk, that's not going to happen. Here we're looking at the, uh, the Erfurt Luger. I'll try to get in on these here as close as I can. It's kind of hard to tell with the angle and the light, but if we look here above where my thumb is at, all four of these lines under proof mark location and description um, match German military proof marks. And this is the most common World War I Luger. So, it appears that this is also a German military pistol. And I know we kind of looked before at the barrel, which is not matching to the gun. That eagle over swastika is a, uh, another proof mark. And let's see if I can... It's very hard to see it. To the right of the number on the barrel, there is stamped an S slash 42. It's barely, barely even visible, the bottom part of the number. So the S42 code is the uh, Mauser Verka. So it's from a Mauser factory. And that's a Mauser military proof via Eagle over swastika that's on the barrel. So it's got two wars worth of histories, and the uh, S42 pistols, according to the uh, the Luger handbook, said they were produced from 1936 to 1940. So that barrel, I suppose, could be uh, from any year in between. So. And here is a P-38 pistol. Um, the closest thing that I could find in the Luger book is the uh, BYF-42 date. And these two marks right here, these are present on the P-38. We can see a small one right there to the right of the, uh, the C-looking character. that has a 135 stamped beneath it. And then on this side, we can see three marks right here. The far left one is the eagle over 135, then an eagle over swastika, and a repeat eagle over 135. Just like these here. So the eagle over swastika appears to be a test fire proof and the other are inspection and acceptance marks. And on the breech, uh, breech block and barrel assembly there's a uh, eagle over 135 inspection mark there. There is a test fire mark eagle over swastika there. And another eagle over swastika right there. It's hard to see in the curve there where the light is. If there's anybody with any questions or comments, uh, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and post them. Uh, if anybody has any requests or uh, particular questions, especially about these uh, Lugers or the P38, I'd be more than happy to try to answer any of them or um, do any research if nobody else has any access to any of the book. 